friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sabrina and I'm so excited to have you here. Today I'm going to be doing my January Owl Crate unboxing. So I feel like I haven't done an Owl Crate unboxing in a hot minute. I don't know why it's been so long. Um, probably because I haven't uploaded a video in six months. But I have been getting my Owl Crate unboxing and or my Owl Crate boxes and I'm looking at my shelves above me but I'm up to seven boxes of like random shit that owl crate has sent me so yep but i love owl crate i love the little gadgets they give you i just love everything about owl crate there i do not have a anything really bad to say about owl crate i just really like them hi wanda and i'm gonna open this as soon as i get this tape off so let me try to get it with this that yeah, were better than expected okay why are these boxes so hard to open? Okay, so this month's theme is the thrill of the hunt. This is the little card. So cute. Uh, love this. So per usual, I'm not going to read this until we get some stuff out of the box out. Another so nice box won't like flatten out and it's just in my face. Okay, so first thing I'm pulling out is this super cute box. Oh my gosh, look how cute. It's like a little map. Oh my goodness, that box is so cute. Okay, and the side of it says, Together with Janie LaCour, we're bringing a bit of magic of Middle Earth to your table. Each bowl in this four-part limited edition collection celebrates a different iconic location in the Tolkien's Lord of the Rings universe. This bowl features Darwin's architectural architecture that word is not gonna come out of my mouth. Aesthetics, ruins, and iconic iconic images to pay homage to the kingdom of oh, I can never say the kingdom and lord of the rings. Earbore, earbor. If I'm saying that wrong, someone correct me because I've actually never watched Lord of the Rings. So, probably should start. So, before I open this, let's read this. Okay, um, together with artist Janie LaCour, we're bringing a little bit of magic to Middle Earth to your table. Each bowl in the series celebrates a different iconic location from the Lord of the Rings universe. We're beginning with the Darwin, Darvan Kingdom of Erebor, perfect for a box full of peace. Thor Thorin's quote, loyalty, honor, a willing heart, I could ask no more than that, is rendered in Darwin's ruins along the bull's edge. This box features a map of Middle Earth designed by Matt Maker in the reeds. Alright, let's open this up because I'm super excited to actually see it. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I'm definitely putting this on my desk. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Okay, this is what I'm seeing as I'm taking it out of the box. I just gotta get it out of the bubble wrap. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I love this. So, I'm assuming all these little um, wordings along the side, if you can see it, it wants to focus on my face instead of the bowl. Um, it has like little wordings on it in a different language and I love that. It is super cute. I'm going to throw this back in here so I don't break it. That is super cute. Okay, this box better be good because honestly that was like the best start of a box. Okay, next I'm pulling out a literary luggage limited edition enamel pin collection design 1 of 12. This is the first of the year, and I've never got one like this, so I'm using, I'm assuming they're using a different packaging, and this packaging is so cute. It's like a little postcard. Oh, that's cute. It's a Red London, um, so it's a literary luggage collection, so this is super cute. It has, it's just a little briefcase with Red London on it. Can, why won't this focus today? There we go. It is a super cute pin i love this this is adorable super excited why my focus on my camera is just not doing what i wanted to do i have a text message this is cute and i love the little bag it came in which honestly i feel like just made it so much more cute okay let's read about it real quick including introducing our 2022 enamel pin collection literary luggage each month's box will include a suitcase pin featuring a beloved fictional location all designed by hey atlas creative 
To kick off the collection, we're traveling to Red London from a darker shade of magic, which I have not read. Probably should read that this year sometime. This is cute and I'm honestly obsessed. Okay, next I'm pulling out this little velvet satchel bag. Let's open it up, see what is in there. Okay, it's a diner coin. I see a little paper and then, okay. I love these little like replica things from books. I got a replica coin from Fable and I, it's probably one of my favorite things that I have gotten from an Owl Crate box because it just like makes the story come alive a little bit better. So this one says, um, May Arwania? I am saying everything wrong today. Be with you, 10 diner. And then it says the Golden King on the front. So let me get a good focus on this. Okay, there we go. So this is the front. Super cute. My nails suck. And then this is the back. Also super cute. I love this. So let me read a little bit about it because I'm not even sure what book this is from. <laughs> okay, um, right here. Author and artist Haza Fazal of Icy Designs crafted a unique fictional souvenir straight from the pages of her own book, We Hunt the Flame. I haven't read that book. That's why this doesn't look familiar. This diner coin is designed to resemble the currency you'd find in the fictional kingdom of Arwaya. So this is the money you'd find in We Hunt the Flame, which is super fun. I love this. Um, apparently, I, I own that book, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's behind me in my purple section. But... I'm not reading it. For some reason, I read that it was um, a sequel, and I'm like, why would I have got it in my all if it's a sequel? And then I was really confused, so maybe that's why I haven't read it yet. I don't know. Next, we have. Ah! I already know what this is. It is an enamel pin hanger. I have one right here. If you can see it, that is pretty full. Um, we are needing a new one and I was just telling my husband about how I needed a second one. So I'm very excited about this. My, come on. Apparently my cat wants to say hello. Um, do you just want to look out the window, honey? Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me move you so you don't hit the camera. Okay. Yeah. So very excited for this. I was looking for a new one because mine is almost filled up. So I'm very excited to get one from Owl Crate. So uh, to celebrate the beginning of our literary luggage series, Hey Atlas Creative has also designed a compass pin banner. Use it to display and organize your enamel pin collection throughout the year. So I think I might actually save this one specifically for these pins um, just because they go together. I feel like um, super cute. Love this. Okay, next I have a Six of Crows little bag, which I have not run. I have a couple of bookish friends who have been telling me, Sabrina, just read it. And I'm like, I can't. I really like romance and contemporary right now. So the front says no mourners, no funerals. And it just says Six of Crows with the iconic Six of Crows um, Grisha Universe text and the crow. So super cute. And on the back, I'm assuming this is like a little town from there. I'm not 100%. Someone who has read this book, please let me know because I don't want to ruin it. Um, on this, it says, looking to stash away your crow club earrings? Keep your crunch safe inside this officially licensed Six of Crows cannabis pouch from out of print featuring the Ketterdam skyline. Super cute. I love this. I was just looking for a new makeup bag, so... Super cute, I will be using it for this, but I have to figure out how to line it so I don't ruin it. All right, next. Okay, pretty sure next is the book. Make sure. Okay, so, oh, no, 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 we have one more thing. Next, I'm pulling out a bookmark that says, make yourself a myth and live within it so that you belong to no one but yourself. And this is what it looks like. Let it focus on the bookmark and not my face. Super cute, I'm loving this, it's wooden. I love the wood bookmarks. Um, and it says, Wink and Wonder transformed one of our favorite codes from the Gilded Wolves into this wooden bookmark featuring Parisian Pura inspired designs to suit the book setting. Super cute. Love this. I'm going to put this in my little owl crate mug full of bookmarks. I have more bookmarks. They're in random books throughout my house. I don't want to talk about it. So, next we have the book, which is. The Ivory Key by, I will butcher her name, so I'm not going to say it and just say A-R. First of all, this book is really pretty. 
love it i'm not gonna open it because i actually haven't been opening these lately i don't know why don't know why um so let's read the little author's note Dear Owl Crate readers, I am so thrilled to be welcoming you to Ashoka, a land filled with ancient artifacts, crumbling forts, and secrets lurking around every corner. I was a teen when the first Twilight books were coming out. Same. <laughs> so I grew up with the explosion of the YA category. It is no surprise that when I sat down to write my own book, I went back to all the tropes and elements that I loved about classic YA fantasy. At first glance, The Ivory Key is a traditional YA tale of vanishing magic and a princess who must bring it back. But I put my own spin on it. In a world magic, I'm physical resource that anyone can use in order to get more four dysfunctional royal siblings that must follow clues behind left by a dangerous secret society. I started writing this book in 2016, but I had the idea for it way back in 2010 when I was still a teen myself. Originally, I wanted to write a Robin Hood retelling where the rebels stole magic instead of money. You can still see the virtues of this initial spark in, in the Rhea and the Ravens, but my ideas revolves. I began to draw inspiration from other stories that I loved. I thought often of the sibling relationships in the originals and the clever puzzles in my favorite childhood treasure hunt movies like Indiana Jones, The Mummy, and National Treasure. I also pulled from my own heritage, filling the book with a lot of my favorite things about India, ancient ar architecture, regional food, traditional art forms, and extravagant celebrations. But one thing that has never changed was that it would be a story about siblings. Through the book has slow and burr romances and epic friendships at its core. It was always a love letter to my messy, complicated families and what it means to protect the ones you love. I hope you enjoy reading it as much as I loved writing it. And I remember you, and remember you get to make your own destiny. That is so cute. That's probably the most heartfelt author's note I've ever read. Absolutely adorable. I love this book. It looks so pretty. I'm obsessed. I really want to open it. I wonder if it has. Okay, I'm opening it. It's been decided. Let me get that tape I was just using. I haven't opened. Maybe it's because I haven't opened a book because this is okay. I don't even need this. There is a lot of like extra plastic. Okay, there we go. I'm always afraid I'm gonna like ruin the um, actual book itself when I do this. Ooh, it's prettier outside of the plastic. Okay. Okay, once I take the plastic off, it is like so bright and fun. Okay, and there's this. I'm gonna put this back in the book, but I'm gonna set that there for now. Um, yep, there is the author signature, and I love that it is has its own fun page now instead of just having like a normal page. Super fun, and then, oh yep, so there is, oh, this is a pretty book. <laughs> this is the artwork on the inside super cute super fun and this is the actual book that has this is super cute and i'm so glad i got it okay i'm gonna put this back in here so i don't lose it can i help you with something so as for next month's box this theme looks like it's going to be among the monsters and the sneak peek is going to be a set of bookends designed by no one designs which i'm so excited Super cute, so excited. Without further ado, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you get Owl Crate and what you liked most about this month's Owl Crate, and I will see you guys next time.